My name is Tim Darren. I'm the solutions architect for our HPE, SMB, and mid-market solutions. Uh, and uh, today you're going to get to see a really cool little box called the microserver Gen 10 Plus V2. But uh, real quickly, we'll just cover some of the high points. This server is based on the Intel Xeon E series. In this case, the 2314 is what's installed in the uh, server that you're going to be looking at today. We also offer those servers with the Pentium G two core processor. The 2314 is a four core processor. Uh, these are uh, these all of our ProLiant servers are designed with security in mind. Specifically, the thing that we introduced at Gen 10 was something called Silicon Root of Trust. And that is essentially an immutable fingerprint that's embedded in the firmware that authenticates the code. Every time you upgrade the code, it checks the authenticity of the code for the firmware. And if it detects anything that's amiss, it will either shut the server down or it will, will mitigate that solution depending on how you set it up. Uh, it'll revert back to known last known good code automatically. Also, uh, the uh, gen introduced with Gen 10, we have the ILO version 5. And with that, the microserver takes the same features as our big brother, the DL380. If you're familiar with our product line, that's sort of our flagship. Anyway, the uh, uh, ILO features are the same as with our DL380 flagship, and that is includes the remote management capability. Uh, and in this case, normally the, the remote management has to be licensed. Additionally, if you want to go past the, the boot up into the OS, but with the microserver, it happens to come with that feature enabled already when you buy the enablement kit. Uh, and uh, this server is capable of up to 64 gigabytes of, of around 32 megabit uh, RAM. It does have four onboard one gig internet on uh, ethernet connections and they are teamable and you'll see a little bit of that today i believe uh as well uh, the has one expansion slot that's a pci gen 4 uh by 416 expansion slot and the power supply for this is an external brick similar to what you might see on a large laptop uh this makes for a very quiet operation and again you'll be able to see and hear that here in the room today uh, one final note I want to mention is that uh, this solution specifically of uh, the v StoreMagic SV SAN solution is already offered in our bundle of uh, our, our um, SMB solutions. And if you're a channel partner and you can go to iQuote and register for an account and you can see all of our SMB solutions, including this StoreMagic solution, uh, the one we have currently in our portfolio is based on hard drives. The one you're going to see today is an all-flash version, and we are working to validate that configuration. And the, the thing I want to point out, the SMB solutions, is that every one of our solutions that we publish are validated. We have a team that, that runs those solutions through the promotions and uh, makes sure that they do what we say they're going to do. And and finally, here's the, the actual specs if you wanted to get dig into it. We, of course, uh, don't require the uh, a hardware uh, RAID because we have the Intel embedded VROC or SATA RAID, uh, and we are using SATA drives. The, the microserver only does SATA non-hot plug drives. Uh, that is one of the uh, features of this particular server. Uh, but uh, they're more than sufficient for this solution as we've produced the, you know, the hard drive version and upcoming, we will have an all flash version coming forthcoming. Uh, yes. Uh, is there a plan that you also going to move to Gen 11 since all the other ProLiant servers are at Gen 11? Are there plans for the Gen 11 launch date is sometime in 24, but I can't say much more than that. <laughs> but it's on the roadmap. Is it on the roadmap? Yes, it is. And in fact, all of our SMB solutions featuring the SM, the microserver will be featured on the Gen 11 as well. And maybe more, we're finding that it's much more capable. So uh, stay tuned. What about? <laughs> It'll be sometime, I believe, in the first half, if that helps. Yeah, what about um, AMD-based? AMD-based <laughs> microservers are not in the plan at present. You know, that could change. And of course, um, you know, as we hear from customers like yourselves, uh, you know, we're always listening, trying to find out what 
what the market demand is. And so if that's a demand, uh, you know, I can certainly talk to the product managers regarding that.